Are you craving salt and want to know why? We're going to go over some of the reasons why you might be craving salt and when it might be a problem. According to the American Heart Association, your body only needs about one-fourth of a teaspoon of salt a day. And most of us get well over our amount of salt and have even more. So why do you still crave salt? One of the most common reasons is because of dehydration. So you're not getting enough water. And when you're dehydrated, this can cause the sodium levels in your blood to be too high or too low. And at this point, you're going to be craving salt. How do you know if you're dehydrated? Well, your body gives you lots of different signs if you're dehydrated. Some of them could be you get cold or clammy skin, dizziness, of course, feeling thirsty, headaches, your heart rate might be changing. Sometimes you get muscle cramps or spasms, and you might feel more tired. So these are some symptoms of being dehydrated. So drinking more water might be enough to help to curb your salt cravings. If you're dehydrated because you were sick and not getting in enough fluids, or maybe you've been exercising a lot, so sweating a lot, you also need to make sure that it's not just plain water you're getting, but electrolytes. So you can get electrolytes by drinking coconut water or, of course, electrolyte solution that you can buy. And there's a lot of drinks out there to make sure that you're getting your electrolytes. Another reason you might be craving salt is because you're stressed. When you're stressed, you want to feel better. So when you're under those conditions, your hypothalamus will release more dopamine when you eat more salt. So you will feel happy and less stressed. So this is one of the reasons that you crave salt when you're stressed. Do you get a lot of migraines or headaches? This might be causing you to crave more salty foods. The reason why is because it helps to alleviate the pain in some people if they eat these kinds of foods and helps their headaches to go away or get better. And sometimes you get headaches because you eat a lot of junk and then you start to eat healthy food. You're having people call withdrawals. And withdrawal symptoms sometimes can cause headaches. And to get rid of that, then we eat again our salty or sweet foods to get rid of these headaches. So when you're eating a salty food, you need to kind of be careful on if you feel like you're getting relief from eating salt from headaches, then maybe you're going through withdrawal symptoms and you need to just hang on there and avoid those processed foods a little bit longer and the headaches will go away without you having to go back to eating salt or sweet. There are some ailments that are affected by salt, one of them being cystic fibrosis. And they usually have a chloride imbalance, which causes more sodium loss through your sweat. So then it would make you feel you need to eat more salt. If you have this, it is good to talk with your doctor about it to see what's the best way to balance your salts. That will be healthy for you. Another one is barter syndrome. People with this cannot reabsorb the sodium. So a lot of times their sodium just goes right through their body. And so then, of course, you'll want to eat more salt. The last ailment that might be causing you to have more salt cravings is Addison disease. This disease affects your adrenal glands and your hormones and your hormones that are produced by the kidneys. And if these hormone levels are not correct, your body will start to crave more sodium. Some symptoms that occur when you have these diseases is you get you're always tired or you get a lot of dizzy or fainting spells, low blood pressure. So it's best to talk with your doctor if you think that maybe you have one of these diseases or ailments that we talked about to make sure. Because if you're having chronic salt cravings, it's not just temporary. You're having this all the time. It might be one of these ailments. One of the most common reasons for people craving salt is you're bored. And when people get too bored, they tend to eat a lot of salty foods without realizing it. So you eat when you, you're not really hungry and you crave salty things a lot. It might be because you're just bored. Two more basic causes of 
wanting and craving salty foods is you sweat a lot so a lot of sweat you'll lose your electrolytes and salts through your sweat and that will make you crave to have more salty foods so if this happens to you you want to make sure that you're eating that you're drinking more electrolyte enhanced drinks instead of just taking some salt because usually you're losing more than just salt and the last reason is PMS when women go through PMS, it usually changes their hormones a lot. This may increase the cravings for salt. So how do you know if you have too much salt? Well, some symptoms would be you have an increased amount of thirst. You have swollen feet or hands. You get headaches. And you have a rise in your blood pressure. These are some of the basic symptoms you might get if you have too much salt. So what's the problem with eating too much salt, having too much salt in your diet? Why can't you have more salt? Well, one of the reasons you want to make sure that you don't have too much salt is it really affects your blood pressure and this would affect your heart a lot. So it can lead to your heart muscles getting enlarged and causing you to have heart failure. It also can affect your kidneys, leading to kidney disease or kidney stones. So you want to make sure that you do not overdo it with having too much salt. If your salt addiction is only temporary, it's not chronic, it's easier to fix. If you have chronic salt cravings, you need to go check with your doctor to see if you have any one of these ailments that we talked about. If it's not chronic, then these are some things that you can do. First, you should try to limit processed foods because they all contain large amounts of sodium. Next would be to replace them with something else. So it's hard to get rid of them if you don't have something else you can grab instead. So uh, it would be good if you can make yourself some healthy snacks or lunches or things that you could grab. Make ahead, put them in the fridge. That you could just grab them whenever you're feeling you want some kind of craving is going on. Because usually if you don't have something already prepared and ready, you're of course going to go for that salty food again because it's easier and we're lazy. So try and make ahead for yourself something that you can eat that's healthier alternative. If you're having a lot of salt cravings and you just can't quit, maybe it's causing you headaches and you think having more salts, the answer got rid of your headache. How do you get rid of this craving? The best way is to be strong. You need to just hold it for a few days, a week maximum. Your cravings should disappear. And of course, the headaches along with it. And stay away from those high salty foods, which is mostly processed foods. And make sure you're drinking enough water. Many people are dehydrated and don't know it. And this starts the salt cravings and the cycle goes on again. So if you can keep your water intake good, five to seven glasses a day, try and get that in there. This will help curve all those salt cravings. Make sure you have healthy snacks available. You should be good. If you have a salt craving, please let me know in the comments below how you handled it and which one of these ways we talked about works best for you. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.